Codewars.com has an interesting problem called the supermarket queue. This looks like an easy challenge in the beginning, but if you look at the details, there is some complexity in that, or at least I found it a little bit challenging. And if you go to this Wikipedia link, this concept is called as thread pool, and it discusses about this concept. So I like this exercise to practice on this thread pool concept. So basically, the explanation here is very straightforward. There is a queue for self-checkout at a supermarket, and we are given the number of customers and their corresponding checkout times. And we are also given the number of cashiers actively working. And we are asked to calculate the total time required for all customers to check out. Right. Well, um, again, uh, it, is, it is not as straightforward as it sounds in the beginning. And let me try to explain that with this simple uh, scenario. So basically in here, I'm giving you, let's say this uh, red colors are just the customer names, customer labels. So we have 11 customers, customer one all the way to customer 11 and their corresponding checkout times with blue, okay? So basically, the first customer takes 32 minutes to check out, to self-check out, and the last customer takes 17 minutes, right? So in the beginning, all the cashiers are available. So basically, these first six customers just take one of the available cashiers. And here, the line 10 shows the time required uh, as a running total, accumulated time. So it is not just one customer, but total, um, let's say, utilization of the cashiers for checkout. So what, is, what I mean by that is, when it comes to the seventh customer, um, that, sell, that seventh customer will go to cashier number three because it will, available, it will be available the first, right? And looking at the total times, the next available cashier will be cashier number six after seven minutes. So the customer eight will take cashier number six. And so I think I made a mistake here. Yes, I made a mistake. So basically uh, the total checkout time is seven for the six cashier and five for the second cashier. So the customer eight will take cashier number two, right? And then customer nine will take cashier number six. That's the available one. And then cashier number five will be available for the 10th customer here. And finally, the customer 11 will use cashier number three. So if you look at the utilization, basically three customers will use cashier number three. One customer will use cashier number four. And if you look at the times, let me highlight that. Cashier, the total time for self-checkout will be the highest on cashier number five, where we have two customers with the long, longer self-checkout times, right? So the answer for all customers to check out for that supermarket, will be 40. So 40 in 40 minutes, we will have the self-checkout complete for all customers, basically. So this is what we are going to model on this uh, supermarket queue challenge. So I wanted to start with this um, edge cases or the relatively straightforward cases. And the first, case I will look at is when the when new customers are around. So the array for the customers, the length of that array will be zero. And in fact, if you look at the sample test, this is the first test. 
So the customer array is an empty array. So the time required, you know, so there's no customer. So the uh, checkout will, will be zero minutes. So we can say return this column, column and return zero. Well, it's straightforward. So if there are, if there is no customer around, then self checkout time will be zero. Right? And the second case that I will be looking at is when we have more cashews available than the customer number, meaning that the length of the array showing the customers will be equal or smaller than the number of cashews. Well, it's also a relatively easy case. And I think that is this fifth case here. So we have one, two, three, four, five customers, right? And we have 100 cashiers available. So these five customers will just pick uh, five of the 100 cashiers available. And the total checkout time will be basically the maximum time required for self-checkout. And that will be the last cashier with, the, with five minutes. So then what I have to do is I need to set a variable called time and the time will be the maximum value on this customer's array. And in this example, it will be five. And then I'll just return time as the outcome of that uh, if condition. Now, um, the challenge is when we have the customer's number being greater than the number of cashiers and that will lead to this problem that we discussed earlier so customers will automatically uh, select the available cashiers so the number of customers served by the cashiers will not be the same and their quest their times will be different will be the, the checkout time per cashews will can vary significantly depending on the individual search checkout times per customer per customer. Now to address that, what I did was I was uh, started with a with a new array and I called it cashier queues. So I am focusing on the times required for self-checkout per cashier. And the, the initial values will be zero. And I will then the size of that array will be equal to the number of cashiers given the problem statement. So we have 10, we have n number of cash. All right. Well, what I will do then is I will start in a, a for loop and I will use J and J will be the checkout time given in the customer's array. So for J in customers, Basically, I need to find out the cashier with the lowest number of accumulated checkout time, and I need to assign the customer to that cashier. So to do that, what I did is I Take this cashier queues array and I sorted it such that 
um, the zero element, let me write it down, the, the first element on that array element zero will take the next next um, customer so we'll just accumulate the time on that cashier by j which is the self checkout time per customer right and in return this um, for loop should um, deliver the maximum value and the maximum value will be basically the required time for all customers to check and to do that I will just return I'll say return um, the maximum value on that cashier queues array. Um, I think that should work. Let's give it a try. There you go. I don't have any failed case, and then I attempt that. It will work for all cases. Well, there are multiple ways of looking at this, and this is how I address that. It's not the best, best method, of course, but I found it very useful to study this thread pool concept. <laughs>